look, here are my thoughts on this uh, second part of the 2020 Democratic debates. I was a Yang uh, follower. I still am, to a degree. Um, but I gotta say, after Kamala Harris came out and said that part to Joe Biden, um, that little girl was me. Whew. That's some powerful stuff. And uh, Yang, however respectful, um, needs to get past that if he wants a chance. And I fear that it's too late now. Um, we have a president that doesn't care about interrupting people. So to think that he should be respectful um, is uh, not right. I mean, he needs to interrupt. He needs to get his voice out there. And uh, tonight was not his night, that's for sure. That was Kamala Harris's night, and I didn't know anything about her, to be honest, and I'm glad that I do now, because, wow, she's powerful. She is extremely powerful. And I, I made a joke on Facebook. I said, uh, um, let's see here. I said, mark my words. When Kamala Harris has finished her eight years as president, her biography title will read, That Little Girl Was Me. I just saw that. That's just flashed. That beam of light just came down. I saw that and I was like, oh my God, that's going to be, she's going to be president. I mean, it's too early to tell, but <laughs> like campaigns, when you look back at them, have a phrase. They always had a phrase, something that caught the attention and it's always been emotion. And that's what Andrew Yang always fails at is that he goes for these analytical facts and people get lost in that. They, they can't they can't accept numbers people for the majority of people that are not in the realm of mathematics or science that just goes by them they don't understand it they want to understand it but they don't instead they rely on other people telling them about the statistics and so um, tonight when he had his I think there's a part on here that he had 500 words that he said throughout the campaign it was completely overshadowed and taken as a joke because the beginning of it, when Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, um, the other candidates, all of them, went off of emotion. That's, and you can say that's wrong. Trust me, that is wrong because they're, they're playing off, they're playing off people's emotions. Um, but that's how you win the presidency is tapping into people's psyche. And, uh, Andrew Yang failed to do that. And so I'm pretty fearful for uh, his campaign. I really was strong. I just really liked Andrew Yang's policies. I mean, he is, when you look at his stuff, when you really look at the numbers, yeah, he knows what he's talking about, but he doesn't, he's never going to get the option to talk about that. And even if he did, people would just blow it off. They would they would just throw it to the wayside and it's sad but uh yeah anyways take care guys just want to throw that out there